everyone, it's Miss Saida from Scratch. Today on Scratch, we are going to learn to make our characters fly. Um, so let's jump right in. First thing you want to do is go ahead and open up a web, uh, a web browser. On your web browser, you want to type in scratch.mit.edu. So that's scratch, S C R A T C H dot M I T dot E D U. Once you've got that in, you'll come to a web page that looks just like this. I'm going to make myself just a little bit smaller. <clears throat> on your web page, you're going to go ahead and sign in over here on the top. And that sign in button is going to let you sign in and save your work. So for example, if you wanted to quit um, after this session and you wanted to come back to it later, you would be able to access that same um, scratch board that you had earlier. If not, you can also do this activity, but you'll know that it won't be saved. Okay. So once you're ready for that, go ahead and click on create. And that'll bring you to the platform where we can code and see what our code produces. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of this. Um, and you'll notice that on my board I have Scratchy the Cat. But actually, I don't want Scratchy the Cat. I want a script that looks like it's flying. So to do that, remember you have to go over here. You have to choose a sprite. And Amon here looks like it's flying. So we can do Amon. But I might go ahead and put in flying in my search tool. All right. And so I have a cat flying, I have a dinosaur, ooh, maybe a dinosaur or a dove. Um, I actually like this parrot over here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the parrot. Um, and I don't want Scratchy the cat, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of him. So remember, if you want to control your sprites, they're all the way in the bottom over here. Um, and to trash sprite, I would just go ahead and click on that trash can. And now I just have the parrot. Okay, so to make to make it look like the parrot is flying, I'm going to create some more mm, objects or more sprites um, on this screen. And it's going to look like it's moving past the parrot. Okay, you ready? I'm going to go ahead and add another sprite. Mm, what are some things that he could go past? Um, he could go past a building or maybe a cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and put cloud. This one looks fun. Ooh, right in his face. Um, so to make it look like this cloud is going past him, I'm going to move the cloud. Now, when you're thinking about moving, you want to think about your x-axis and your y-axis. Right? In my x-axis, I want him to move to the left. So if he's moving to the left, it's going towards a negative number. So first, let's take a look at what I need to do. This is the cloud I want him to move. Okay. So I'm going to take a look um, over here under code. I see motion. That's great. I would love for him to move. Um, and then maybe go ahead and make the cloud move. So right now we have our cloud, right? And we need to make it move behind our parrot. Now, how are we going to do that? So I know I want it to move. So I'm going to go to my motion. And in my motion, I see it says move 10 steps, but I'm not trying to move it any steps. So I'm going to go ahead and go to change X by 10. Now, I know I want it to move on my X axis. So I want it to move. Um, left and right but here I just wanted to move left so I'm gonna do change X by negative 5 but it's not doing anything hmm I wonder why that is I told it to do something and it's not doing it it's because I haven't given it a event 
I didn't tell it when to do it. So now I'm going to go ahead under my events. I'm going to put when the green flag is clicked, it's going to change by negative five. Let's see. Okay. So it's changing by negative five, but I need it to go way faster than that. So I'm going to go ahead under my control and I'm going to make it repeat itself. So let's repeat it to, oh, let's try, let's see what 10 looks like. Oh, that was great. But I needed to move a lot more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and put 100 and see what that looks like. Oh, that's so much better. But you see how the, um, the cloud isn't coming back after I click it um, another time? I want that cloud to come back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my motion and I'm going to set my X, I'm going to tell it I want you to start right here all the time. Okay, so right now, let's see what zero looks like. If I set it to zero, it starts in the middle. Now, I want it to start all the way on my right. So I'm going to go ahead and if it's on your right, it's going to be a positive number on your X axis. I'm going to try 200, see what that looks like. Oh, that is so much better. Right? So then I can keep clicking it and it'll come right back to where it was. And now the parrot, even though it's stationary, the clouds look like it's moving behind it. Great. So right now I'm going to click my green, um, my green flag and my cloud is moving. Wait, hold on. My cloud is moving, but I don't want to keep pressing my green button. I'm going to go ahead and look for a control that's going to do this without me continuously clicking on it. So here I see forever. So I'm going to put my forever code in here. And so when I click my green button, it should go on forever without me clicking it again and again. So that's perfect. Now, there's something else that I want to fix about my um, about my animation. I don't like that my parrot is behind my cloud. I want to move him up front. So I'm going to work with him now. So to do that, I am done. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Press my stop button. I'm going to I'm done with my cloud for now. I'm going to move on to my parrot. With my parrot, I want to make sure that he stays in the front. So, let's see. Looks. So I want him to stay in the front. I also want him to say that he's ready to fly. So I went under looks and I'm going to say, let's fly. It's going to scream it at us. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to put him in the front layer. So it says here, it says go to front layer. So he's going to stay in that front layer. I can also move him to the back if, um, if I want to, but I want to keep him up front. So it's not moving, right? I told him what to do and he's not moving. What do I need to do? I'm going to go ahead and click on events because he doesn't know he has to move yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same green flag and he should go to the front layer. Let's see what that looks like. Here we go. Ooh, now I have my cloud. I'm going to stop that. I love that he's in the front layer. He's ready to fly. I'm going to go ahead and add a little background. So here I'm going to go ahead and choose a little backdrop. Um, I might want to put, you can put, here's a blue sky over here. Let's see what else they have. Sky. Colorful city. Let me see what this looks like with blue sky too. Perfect. So there's two more things that I want to show you guys. Okay. First thing, I have my cloud.
I might want to include some more sprites. So I'm going to go ahead and include a building because when I think of flying, I think of building. It can look like he's moving. Just like we did with the cloud, you can also do with the building. Right, so the same code that we had for the cloud, you can do that for the building so it can move behind us. The other thing I want to show you is we see our parrot with his wings up. Now I want to make it look like he's really flying. So I want him to flap his wings up and down. To do that, I know that my parrot has another costume. That means he's going to show me a different motion. So if you go a code that'll show him flapping his wings. When I think of the way he's moving, I think of motion or looks. Now, when I go under looks, I see it says switch costume to parrot B. So we have parrot B, and we also have parrot A over here. So I want him to switch it back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and include that first one also. So I'm going to say switch costume to parrot A, switch costume to parrot B. Hmm. He's not moving. Now, I know that there's something wrong with my code, so I'm going to go back and try to fix it. So I'm going to take my switch costume apart. And maybe I'll make him wait for a little bit. So under control, I'm going to make him wait one second before he switches back to um, parrot B. Let's see what that looks like. So he switched back A and B, but then that was it. Now that is not what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and um, break that apart again. I wonder what I can do here. I know that I have to come back to switch costume. So I want, I want to go from A to B. And now he's flapping, flapping his wings. Perfect. So to make this even more, um, make it look like he's flying even more, what I might want to do is include more sprites in the background that are moving past him. And as I'm including new sprites, for example, this building that I included, that also has a costume change. So you can change those buildings every time it starts back up anew again. All right, guys, have fun. Experiment with Scratch, um, and good luck. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.